What is up guys, Under Average Joe here. We are back with our Entry 14 BGM commentary series with our Detroit Red Wings. Now, last episode, in case whatever reason you missed it, uh, which is, you should probably go back and watch that, because we actually did, uh, I wouldn't say anything too insanely major, we just kind of, just some depth for the playoffs we got in the trade deadline, like, uh, Hal Gill, we traded away Erickson for Hal Gill, but my reason behind it is he's going to retire after this year, so that's going to free up salary cap space for us, but if you look at his, um, his actual stats, boom, a plus 16, I mean, no popular goals or penalty, uh, or shorthanded goals, but plus 16, that's phenomenal for a, uh, a pen of the kill. Plus six foot seven, two hundred forty one pounds. Uh, he's he's a nice little fit. Adds a little bit of size and a uh, little bit of physicality to our team. You know, which you can always add, you, you can never have enough of really. Um, until you have a team of just like complete Scott Stevens or Marty McSorley's, but whatever. <laughs> but I'm also hoping that since he is uh, how old? He's thirty eight. Yeah, thirty eight. And uh, he might help out to Kaiser help him grow a little bit. I think if, uh, I'm not sure if this implemented into the game and how it works, but maybe there's the off chance if a young guy is paired with like an older guy and they work together, then, uh, it'll really help them grow and it'll help them, uh, reach their full potential. Now down in the minors, we really don't need to worry about much. Uh, last time we checked, they were actually doing really well. Uh, we did not get rid of Nyquist like I wanted to, but oh well. We get, uh, how's their goalie doing now? Right. Mrazek. Alright, uh, three and a half gold stars. The same potential as DeKaiser, mind you. But he's 30 and 9. That is an insane amount. So, I mean, I'm, I want, what if, uh, we win the Stanley Cup? But then the AHL wins the Calder Cup? How freaking awesome would that be? I think that'd be, um, hilarious. So, we need to really keep our win streak alive. Uh, I think, unless we have a complete meltdown then uh, we can definitely make the playoffs. and But now it's all about how high in the rankings are we going to get. I mean, President's Trophy seems a little off because uh, we're down a couple slots. Uh, we're not too high up in the rankings, but we're pretty solid. We're, I like where we're standing now. Uh, if we make a really good push, we can make it uh, for President's Trophy. Possibly, no promises there. But last video, one of the most important things, is I did promise you guys that I will get to the semifinals in this in this season, not just in this uh, series, in this season. Meaning in the playoffs, we are going to round two. Okay, which we never did with Winnipeg Jets through our whole three seasons with them. Which, because I I admit I was kind of a noob and I didn't uh, really know what I was doing, but now I can somewhat hope that I know what I'm doing. Uh, here we go. We're picking up quite a few losses, which is not exactly what I want. Uh, we can beat the Islanders at Joe Lewis Arena. They're right around we are. Uh, but I'll, I'll take the overtime loss, at least. Hopefully, we're not breaking down too much. What about, uh... Alright, Philly should be a relatively easy team to beat at this point. Uh, based on where we are in the standings. A 5-4 to four game. It's not really... We're having a lot of close games or close losses and that's not how I like it like we're getting like one goal losses oh there we go three to one win hopefully we can kind of uh regain our form here and keep on uh on this rolling streak on this you know he's rolling on this win streak uh Rangers are a pretty solid team I mean you get you factor in Nash you factor in Stahl they have a solid goalie in Lundquist yeah there we go three to one loss my god uh, see, I don't even want to look at the standings. I don't even know. I don't even want to know where we are, because it might stress me out a little bit. But uh, I think I think at this rate we are shooing for the playoffs. But I don't want to chance it and just kind of psych ourselves out of it. Just whatever happens, happens. All right, we're, I, we're pretty much guaranteed a playoff spot. We are unless we have a complete just collapse, or somebody like Datsuk or Zetterberg knock on wood gets injured, uh, right as I say it, uh, Nyquist gets injured, but he's just down in the minor, so it's not too big of a deal, okay, uh, I'll, st I'll, should I stop simulation, uh, we are at, how many games, 60, I don't even know, 74 games, that was game 75, sim up to here, was it 75, yes, yeah, 75, 
So we have seven more games left in the season. Only seven. Okay. Nyquist is back. That's great. I guess. I don't know. What about down in the minors? Oh, they're actually not doing as well as I thought they were. I thought they were just absolutely dominating. Huh. Okay. Uh, but let's see. Let's go to... We want to just go to Stat Central. Uh, team standings is what I care about for now. We are fourth in the entire league, but we haven't clinched a spot yet. Okay, let's go to Eastern Conference. Alright, we are third in the East. We are five points behind New Jersey. What's our odds for a President's Trophy? If we beat New Jersey, alright, if... Oh, this is going to be close. I'm going to go, like, on a two-game basis. Like, I'm going to go simulate two games and two, then two. Because we have pretty much clinched a spot. Uh, it's very unlikely that we won't get a spot. Actually, ooh, six points, seven points, eight, nine. Um, anything beyond, I'd say, like, Buffalo or Philadelphia. I, I don't think Florida can get in. Uh, what about... Alright, what about our division? Yeah, well, obviously, we're number one in our division. You have to be to me in the top three. So, let's actually, uh, the, was it Metropolitan we're in? No. Entire league. Where's our division? Atlantic? Yeah. So, we're still not quite over Boston yet. Um, which is where I wanted to, yeah, that'll bump us down to fifth. So, I'm gonna go two games at a time, and we are going to, uh, actually, I'll go three. We really need to control this lead now. It's all we have to do. We have to hold on. Um, see, like, we can't give up easy games like that. Now, granted, that was an overtime, so we get a point out of it. But Florida, this is a game where we cannot lose. All right, this is this is a big game. Joe Louis Arena, let's give the fans something to cheer for. Uh, there we go, 5 to nothing shutout. And actually, this is what I was saying during the trade deadline. If Hal, Gil, if Hal Gill gets injured, we have our other guy. We have uh, Francis uh, Bouillon. Who we can throw in there and toss him into the mix. Uh, I'm going to put him on the penalty kill. Just because that's kind of his e level of expertise. That's his little area of expertise. Now I'm going to put Koliakovo up there. I'm, I don't trust Bouillon on that uh, first penalty kill. And just for that extra little push, I'm actually going to put Cronwall on here. And there you go. DeKaiser's a 70 overall now. He actually went up another point. So that's what you know. We're, got, we're going good now. Uh, when our big rookie guys like DeKaiser are stepping up. I mean, we, we've had a lot of young talent step up this year. I think Howard might be in for a Vezina this year. I would not be surprised at all. A commanding 5-1 to one win over Buffalo. All right, we'll check the standings again. All right. And we are, we're still fourth in the league, but now we've cut the deficit. We've clinched a playoff spot. We are guaranteed in the playoffs. Now it's just where. Where are we getting it? We're four points behind for our President's Trophy. With uh, four games left in the season. And so do they. Ooh, this is intense. Okay. So, I wonder if we can... Wait, would we clinch our division, at least, if we uh, beat Boston tonight? Because I know they are... It would make us pretty darn close. So, actually, yeah, this is going to be a huge win against Boston tonight. Two back-to-back -back games against Boston. I'll go with these three. All right. We need to beat them both times. But otherwise, they have a shot of coming back at us, and they might actually take the division title. Oh, okay. Well, they actually, they might have clinched a spot with that one. That is not good. Uh, scout assignment. Okay, I don't really care about scout assignment, but we'll do it anyways. What haven't we scouted? Uh, I try to keep it in, like, the Canadian, like, the CHL, just because they do end up having the top prospects. Um, Korobev? Sure. They've got actually some pretty good defensemen there. Well, we need forwards overall. We need, uh, we do need more, uh, uh, potential at forward. So let's, let's see what we can get here. Uh, I think we should throw more into this. I'd say like another three weeks. Just so we can get those couple top ten guys scouted out. Uh, alright, so these last few games are gonna be huge. I'm gonna simulate up to the Buffalo game, and I'm going to see if, uh, we really do have a shot at the President's Trophy. If we don't win here, then we do not have any shot at the President's Trophy. Okay. So, we also need to win. All right, we need to win this game. We need to win this game if we want a shot at the President's Trophy. Because it's within our grasp, I think. 
Ah, all right. Well, I don't think. Uh, um. Ooh. All we need is one, and we clinch the division and the playoff berth. So if we uh, if we win against Buffalo tonight, we absolutely 100% clinch our division. What about President's Trophy? That's not happening. Okay. We were six points out. Not that big of a deal. But hey, Ottawa's one point behind us, so we can clinch our division tonight if we do win. Okay. All right, sim both games. We're going to take it uh, period by period here. Okay, goals. One nothing. Johan Franz gets us on the board. They're pulling out Ryan Miller for this one. All right. So now, can we hold it? Resume simulation. Let's go minute by minute here. All right. All we need to do is we need to hold it. There we go. Pavel Datsuk. He's not gonna settle for holding it. Pulling out them Deeks, and he's getting us right ahead. Clark MacArthur. Doesn't matter. We can hold them off. They're a lot worse of a team than us. And there we go. So we officially we are the Atlantic Division champions. In our first season, I'm liking this. See, now, if you look back, if we had actually, if we had kept Cleary, if we had kept Bertuzzi and just had them on our uh, wings on our on our second line, then third line we had, uh, what's his face? I don't even know. Then I guarantee you we would not be where we are today. Alright, so final stats are kind of up there. Uh, we already know where we sit in the standings. Now it's time to evaluate our roster. Actually, do what we'll do. Yeah, yeah, we'll we'll just do that right now. We'll just uh, evaluate our rosters right now. Let's check. Uh, we had pretty good depth at center. Uh, 83 points, so over a point per game, which is always nice to see. Fopulus stepping up with 49 points. Not as much as he had back uh, before the lockout. But 49 is still good, considering uh, second line minutes and how he has to play in the shadow. I think he got a lot of those points because of Tarasenko and Gallagher. I feel like they really helped him out. What about Darren Helm? Did he really get up there? 21 in the minus one. Not a career year for him. It's actually kind of a down year. But hey, what are you going to do? He's playing third line minutes. And he's got two iffy guys. Now, Emerton, six in a minus one. I'm not going to blame him for that. He's, he's a fourth liner. Franzen, 54 points. But he, he was injured for quite a bit of the season. Um, what about Tarasenko? 44. All right, that's great to see. That's exactly what I wanted out of him. Gallagher, 42. Sweet. Uh, what about Zetterberg? I want over 82. 83. There we go. So he won up me a little bit. All right. So what about Advocator? Uh, 24 and a minus 4. What about Damian Brunner? 21 and a minus 5. So not bad. Definitely not. No, I, had, I kind of expected more out of Brunner, but it's, it's nice to see him, you know, just being able to handle the minutes. Uh, Samuelson had an okay last season, but I want to get Samuelson's name on that cup one last time, you know, before he has to retire. Uh, it was kind of sad that we couldn't, uh, have Bertuzzi and, uh, Cleary with their names on the cup, but, you know, it is what it is. And look at the discipline on that. Only two penalty minutes. Well, what, what's his discipline? Uh, where does it list discipline? I don't even know. 84. So, I mean... I wonder whether maybe he's just not. Maybe he just doesn't take penalties. I don't know. He might be just that kind of guy. Cronwall, 25 and a plus one. His plus minus is improved, but it kind of at this. His point production kind of went down a little bit. But hey, do what this means. This is, I believe, the 23rd season in a row the Detroit Red Wings have made the playoffs. Now, Koliakovo came up huge for us this year. 35 points, a plus 19. Uh. Kindle right up there at 34 and a plus 17. But I'm not going to take Cronwall down. Cronwall is our number one absolute defenseman. He's such a beast. 38 and plus 18. So we have a top four of just amazing defensemen. They are what's carrying us right now. Uh, 11 and a plus 5 from DeKaiser. He's played almost a full season. So this is his actual full official rookie year. And I think he actually did good. I mean, we came in. He was filling in for injuries. And he took over that spot. Which, for uh, from Erickson and Smith. So, I mean, that's definitely not bad. Uh, Bouillon, as an injury fill-in, he didn't, he didn't do terrible. He's actually a pretty cool guy. He's a good guy. Uh, I don't imagine... I'm going to leave all these the same unless somebody can beat out Koliakovo. Uh, how many Papa goals? Five? What? No way. How many does Koliakovo have? One. All right, so you know we're putting Quincy on there. With Cronwall. Uh, Kindle with... Oh, I didn't even check how many. 
Let's see. The plus minuses of our defensemen this year are awesome, though. They're pretty amazing. Uh, how many does Cronwall have? Just curious, because he's not too big of like, a goal scorer. Um, two, which is that's pretty much what we expected out of him. But definitely putting Quincy on there, without a doubt. Um, so yeah, this is all s sweet. That's all good. Datsuk, Helm, Zetterberg. We had one of the best penalty kills in the league. We're going to check those actual finalized stats in a little bit. Um, four on four lines. These are all good. These are all good. We're riding Howard right now. Howard is where it's at. He's the face of this franchise, pretty much. Uh, and I want to get Datsuk's name. I want to get Datsuk's name on a cup once more because he's only got one or two good years left in him. I mean, this might actually be if we win the cup this year. It might be his last season. You, you never know. I mean, crazier things have happened. And How Gill is back for the playoffs. This is a Amazing defensive guy that I really wanted, uh, and it's, it's great to see him back. Now, compare his stats to Bouillon's. Uh, let's see. I'm sorry if you can hear, like, something in the background. I'll try to edit it out, but they're watching a movie downstairs, so I'm sorry if there's just a slight bit of noise. 13 and a plus 14. So this guy is just, he went down a little bit in plus minus, but still a phenomenal job. Uh, and... You know, I, I think our penalty kill is really what really helped us out this year. I mean, we were consistently ranked in the top five penalty kills the whole year, which, which um, of course, doesn't hurt your overall standings. Uh, so, let's see, four on four lines, uh, Quincy, Kendall, Cronwall. I'm going to leave Cronwall on there for the playoffs. Oh, yeah, you know, he's going to be hanging out with the Kaiser. He's going to be hitting it up with the Kaiser because, you know, we need that. We need that extra little oomph for the playoffs. So I want to see who we are going to be matched up against for our first round of the playoffs here. The New York Rangers. Oh. -ho -ho. All right, so we got six more wins than we needed, and we really raised the profile of the Detroit Red Wings, which is hard to do because they're an amazing franchise, but all right. Um. So let's check out the Rangers roster. All right, view lines, NHL. Let's scroll over. To the Rangers. Now, Na Nash matches up perfectly with Zetterberg. Stepan, Datsuk's got a big edge on him. Callahan and Franz are going to be a nice little mix. Now, Gallagher and Tarasenko have Haglin and Zuccarello beat, but Richard, uh, not, what am I saying? Richards is right there with Filipula. Now, I think, uh, our, our depth really beats them out. Our bottom six is what are really going to matter here, but their first line can still get it done, so we need to watch out for that. Then, uh, McDonough and Girardi, uh, they match perfectly. They're, they have a really strong defense. Uh, their stall is basically like our Cronwall. They have McDonough, they have Girardi. Delzado's going, we gotta watch out for him. So basically, they match with us pretty well. Their, their power play is deadly. Their penalty kill is even deadlier. I mean, we've really gotta watch out for that. And then we get, uh, of course, Henrik. Lundqvist. It's going to be a battle of goalies. That's what this series is going to come down to. And I am so excited to see you in the next episode. I know, I'm going to leave it on this cliffhanger. But um, at that, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Give a big old like because uh, we have made it to the playoffs. And I am promising you, we will beat the New York Rangers. I will promise you that. We will make it to the second round. And on that note, I will see you guys later. I look forward to it. Peace.